Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of a times square root of a times square root of a is equal to 128. We need to find all possible values of a. We will solve it by two methods. So let's start with method one. In this method, we take square of both sides. Square root of a times square root of a times square root of a is equal to 128. And we take square of both sides of this equation. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root. And here we are left with a times square root of a times square root of a is equal to 128 squared. Now from here we take square of both sides again. Now this power 2 will become the power of this a, a squared times and this square will be cancelled out with this square root. And here we are left with a times square root of a is equal to 128. By using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 2 by this power 2. So 2 times 2 here we get the power 4. Now from here we take square of both sides again and this power 2 will become the power of this a squared a squared to the power 2 times and this power 2 will become the power of this a a squared times and this square will be cancelled out with this square root here we are left with a is equal to 128 to the power by using this power rule we multiply this power 4 by this power 2 we get 4 times 2 8 next a squared whole squared will become a to the power 4 times this a squared times a is equal to 128 to the power 8. Now this a has power 1 here and by using this power rule a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. We add these powers a to the power 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 128 to the power 8. Next, a to the power 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7 is equal to 128 to the power 8. Now, we take power 1 over 7 on both sides of this equation. And by using this power rule, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. When we multiply this power 7 by this power 1 over 7, this 7 will be cancelled out with this 7. And at left side, we are left with a is equal to 128 to the power 8 times 1 over 7, 8 over 7. Next, a is equal to this 128 this 128 is equal to 2 to the power 7 so we replace this 128 with 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 7 whole to the power 8 over 7 next a is equal to by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. When we multiply this power 7 by this power 8 over 7, 
this 7 will be cancelled out with this 7 and at right side left 2 to the power 8 next a is equal to this 2 to the power 8 is equal to 256 this is the final value of a this is the final answer of this problem now let's solve this equation by method 2 in this method we notice that this a is under 1 square root so we can write this a as square root of a times and we notice that this a is under 2 square roots one is this and one is this so we write this a as square root of square root of a times and we notice that this a is under 3 square roots 1 2 and 3 so we write this a as square root of square root of square root of a is equal to 128 now by using this property square root of a is equal to a to the power 1 over 2 we can write this square root of a as a to the power 1 over 2 times and we can write this double square root of a as a to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power 1 over 2 times and we can write this triple square root of a as a to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power 1 over 2 and whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to this 128 next this a to the power 1 over 2 remains same a to the power 1 over 2 and by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n we multiply this power 1 over 2 by this power 1 over 2 so this expression becomes a to the power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 1 over 4 times by using this power rule we multiply this power 1 over 2 by this power 1 over 2 and by this power 1 over 2 so this expression becomes a to the power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 1 over 4 and 1 over 4 times 1 over 2 1 over 8 is equal to 128 now by using this power rule a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n we add these three powers 1 over 2 1 over 4 and 1 over 8 we write this base a one time and we add these powers 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 128 next a to the power lcm of this 2 and this 4 and this 8 is 8 so we write here 8 and 8 divided by this 2 4 4 times this one 4 plus 8 divided by this 4 2 and 2 times this one 2 plus 8 divided by this 8 1 1 times this one 1 is equal to 128 next a to the power 4 plus 2 6 and 6 plus 1 7 divided by 8 is equal to 128 now here we have power 7 over 8 7 over 8 and uh, reciprocal of 7 over 8 is 8 over 7 so we take power 8 over 7 on both sides at right side we take power 8 over 7 now when we multiply this power 7 over 8 by this power 8 over 7 this 7 will be cancelled out with this 7 and this 8 will be cancelled out with this 8 
and at left side we are left with a is equal to this 128 this 128 is equal to 2 to the power 7 so we replace this 128 with this 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 7 whole to the power this power 8 over 7 next a is equal to when we multiply this power 7 by this power 8 over 7 this 7 will be cancelled out with this 7 and at right side we are left with 2 to the power 8 and a is equal to 2 to the power 8 is equal to 256 so by using method 2 we get the same answer as we get by using method 1 this is the final answer of this equation.